you want? Probably chicken and waffles. I'm not a big breakfast food eater, so. You brought me here. I want you to walk into this. Might as well get some chicken. Chicken. Fried chicken. chicken. What are you getting? The big yeah, omelet with the chocolate chip pancakes yeah. and the hash browns on the side. So. Yeah. Or egg whites. Are you going to do egg whites? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What'd you get? Alright, so I got a big steak omelet, uh, chocolate chip pancakes, and I got some hash browns and egg whites. That's what it really good. <laughs> I get the. Never mind, that's more expensive. Uh, Just get the shea butter. That's a good price for lotion. It lasts you a while. Oh well. So we're currently at Target. What are you looking for? Are you looking for like. The Beauty Blender. Beauty Blender? But I don't know. I know they have them at Walmart, but if they have them at Walmart, they're bound to have them here. Target's next year. In Walmart. Yes, that is a fact. <laughs> I don't know, should I ask someone? You don't ask people, you just, you gotta search. You, do, you, you just can't. Okay, we can be here for 20 minutes. Okay, ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got some measuring tape, because I'm going to measure myself today. Per request. Per request. <laughs> <laughs> Also picking up some more dry erase markers because the markers I got right now are like running out. All right, guys. <laughs> yeah, it is currently it's currently 1:30. Uh, I was planning to go to the gym like around 11:30, like leave the leave the apartment like around 11:30, but I just like whenever I eat IHOP, I just get so tired and I just go to sleep. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but yeah, every single time I eat IHOP, I just well maybe it's because I did have a big steak omelet chocolate chip pancakes, um, egg whites, and hash browns. So I don't know, maybe maybe that was the reason. But yeah, I got back I got back home and I was just instantly out. So uh, yeah, today we're heading on to the gym to hit biceps and triceps. On the weekends, I do not have powerlifting. I only have powerlifting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The weekends is just meant for bodybuilding for me because I do work out seven days a week. So um, yesterday I hit chest and back and today is bicep and triceps. So let's head on to the gym. Someone doesn't have shoes on. Are you gonna work out next season? They're in the car. All right, guys. So we've arrived at the gym. Um, it's time for squat every day. I'm only gonna do 315 pounds for a couple reps, maybe like eight reps, um, because tomorrow is my heavy, 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 heavy squat day. So I'm just not gonna kill myself today. I'm not gonna play myself today. So yeah, we're gonna squat. She's gonna join me. What are you gonna do? Stand in, dude. I'm just gonna squat. Just gonna squat. All right, guys. Just squat till it hurts. <laughs> Let's get Let's it. Let's get it. All right, guys, so it's time to start the bicep and tricep workout. Anthony's gonna be doing legs while I do arms. So we are doing um, some seated incline, incline alternating dumbbell curls. So this is gonna allow you to get more of a stretch out. I don't do this enough, but it allows you to get more stretch out of the biceps whenever you're doing it. So we're gonna do four sets as well.
All right, guys, so we just finished up with the incline alternating dumbbell curls. Now we're moving on to some French presses or overhead uh, tricep extensions with the dumbbells. I, I don't do this enough. I used to do this all the time, but I really need to start incorporating it more inside my tricep uh, exercises. So I'm doing the 85s for maybe sets of 15. Maybe like four sets of 15, yeah. Uh, I might be moving up, actually. I might go up to the 100s if the 85s are too easy. So uh, let's, let's start. Let's start. <laughs> Moving on to the 100s because the 85s are a little bit too light, so we're gonna to do 100s for two sets of 10. I feel like I just feel bigger. That whenever, ever since I did that 10K calorie challenge. I just been feeling like a lot larger, like I feel heavier, I feel bigger. Like look at look at my calves. My calves never poke out like that. Like I just feel like look, it just I just feel cool, man. Alright, anyways, time to move on to some preacher curls. So we're gonna be right here. Ugh. Four sets of eight. Let's get it. All right, so I've said this before in a previous video. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but you know, when you guys watch me do these preacher curls, I'm not, I'm not coming right here and stopping. I'm allowing my biceps to extend all the way, and I'm getting full extension out of my biceps, and I'm bringing it up and allowing it to fall back down slowly. I'm not just going like this, you know, doing half reps stuff like that. I'm getting full extension out of my biceps. I'm getting full range of motion. So, you know, it's just you have to be really technical. Go light. Sometimes. Uh, you know, we do a lot of heavy weight. We're not exactly stimulating the muscle. You want to go a little bit lighter and uh, make sure you're getting some volume in and controlling the weight all the way down. So uh, let's get back to these reps. All right, so now we're moving on to another tricep movement. This is actually like one of my favorite tricep movements, but um, we're doing some dumbbell skull pressures. We're gonna get four sets of 10 with 45 pounds. So uh, let's get it. You having a good workout? Me? Yeah. Yeah. You having a good one? Yes, right. I am. So now we're moving on to biceps once again. It's going to be the last bicep movement. We are doing some concentration curls. Um, I'm going to use the 50s. Yeah, I'm going to use the 50s. We're going to get maybe three sets. Of, no, no. <laughs> Not three sets. Four sets of eight. So.
Alright guys, so now we're moving on to the last movement of this workout. It's going to be some tricep extensions once again, but it's like, it's different. It's like you're bringing it across your body and coming out, you're coming out from an angle. I don't even know what to call it, like I don't know the name of it, but, oh well. We're going to do like three sets. Why well, do I keep saying three sets? I never do three sets. We're doing four sets of 20 for each arm. I said it right. It's lighter weight. I'm only using 20 pound dumbbells, so. Chipotle. Can pick up some Chipotle. Chipotle. Ah, oh, so hungry. I ran out of protein, by the way. Look at this. It was like one week. <laughs> one week of protein. I think it's because I've been doing like double scoops. All right. So, what'd you get? I got everything except lettuce and. Wait. Beans. She turned her. She turned her hand. Her hat around like Ash Ketchum. Who's like that? Like on, po on Pokemon. You know how like. Like, oh, right, Ash? Now yeah, Ash. So no, I just turn around because it's in my way when I'm eating. It's it's like what? It's in my way when I'm eating. Oh. It's like... <laughs> Alright, so she got... I got rice, chicken, a little bit of pico, a little bit of corn, a little bit of medium sauce, cheese, and sour cream. And she got chips. And chips for a dip. Yeah. And I got... You guys already know what I get. I got that, that double chicken life with the... Um, white rice, black beans, pico, corn, sour cream, a little bit of medium sauce, lettuce, lettuce, and a little bit of cheese. Yeah, cheese and chips. And chips. And if you guys are not using your bowl as dip for your chips, you're doing it wrong. <sighs> All right, guys, Harry Potter's on. If there's one thing you need to know about me, I'm a huge, huge, huge Harry Potter fan. <laughs> I'm like. You see that man? She hated in the background. But like, I could tell you stories about Harry Potter that make you laugh. I used to, oh man. Like, I read all the books. I read every single book. Oh, the Death Eater. I'll, this is perfect, man. Chipotle and watching Harry Potter. All right, guys. So we are reaching the end of this video. Um, right now, I'm gonna have Anthea measure out my arms. I don't really measure. I've never really measured my arms before. So this is the first time I am seeing how much, or how big my arms are. So, let's do it. From that to there we go. It's a little bit of a little loose. 18. Basically 18. All right guys, so, I don't know if you guys can see, but we are 18, all right? <laughs> 18 inches, I don't really measure, I don't really care, so. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, if you like the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Get better today. I'm out.